<laughs> this is ridiculous. Hello YouTube. This is Griffin Travel 6 here, coming to you from Dunedin and the South Island of New Zealand, where I'm spending some time with some family on a little bit of a holiday. Subsequently, I have done no recording of any Let's Play videos for some time, and I'm slightly paranoid that the wind is going to blow water onto my back, even though that's a totally ridiculous thing for me to be thinking. Anyway, uh, subsequently, I have not recorded any videos, as I have said, and it might be a couple of days before I actually get around to releasing something, in case you are wondering, since it's been a while since I released something, having been away on this trip. But I'm due to return home tomorrow morning, which is the 17th of January, because I don't know when this is going to be going up. I'll try and put everything together when I get back. And, uh, yeah, I've filmed a little bit of stuff that I've done here in Dunedin, and you will see that I've got Skyrim on the brain, still, uh, as evidenced by some of my observations. And, yeah, we'll be back to some normally, re uh, some, not normally, regularly scheduled Let's Plays soon enough. So, until then, have yourselves a good one, and I will see you in my next Let's Play videos, and I hope you enjoy the stuff that I've done here in Dunedin. Barmix Castle in Dunedin. It's uh, certainly no Nordic Mead House, or the Blue Palace, or Dragon's Reach, but it's the only castle we've got in New Zealand. So, here we go. And I can't tell if this is filming anything correctly because the sun is in my eyes. It's much more of a Victorian era castle rather than a traditional medieval thing. But it's got castly attributes and that's pretty cool. So onwards we go. You're no proud spy manner, but you're pretty damn impressive. We're doing a little bit of an alchemist's tour of Dunedin. Let's see if we can find any choice ingredients in this little flower patch. You might have a little bit of tundra cotton in the centre there. <laughs> it's a bit far-fetched, but hey. We've got a thin lavender bush. Seems like it's already been picked by a passing alchemist already. But oh, what's this? We might have some orange mountain flowers. Some restore magic potions might be coming up. Ah, no. Looking a little bit too different, really. We might be able to find something good in this guy. Let's have a look. Purple mountain flowers, anybody? Get 
some old restore stamina going. Yeah, that's definitely not tundra cotton. We may have some death bells. And death bells are good. Yeah, what do we <laughs> call these death bells? Closest thing we'd probably get. Because those are certainly not poisonous. Probably wouldn't do you do you any good to eat them. But hey look! Dragon's tongue. So we kinda got a good concentration of all these different alchemical regions from Skyrim. Concentrated in one small garden in Dunedin. Next Elder Scrolls game, Dunedin! I think that would be a huge flop. This is pretty much an alchemist stream. Two butterfly wings added to inventory. one on my camera. <laughs> well that's interesting. Ah, now he's on my hand. <laughs> oh, he's getting away from me. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. Oh God, it's so bright. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're coming up on Baldwin Street, the world's steepest street. Uh, there we go, there's the signage. Ah, this looks like it's gonna be fun. I will see you at the top. Holy Jesus, I am unfit. <laughs> but I did it. I did it. Ah! I climbed the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. <laughs> sort of. So there we go. In the Guinness Book of Records and everything as being the steepest street in the world. Um, it's not the best angle from up here because it's actually the dip. So I might do a little bit more recording when I get down, on my way back down. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I'm a bit out of breath. Because all I do is sit around and play Skyrim all day. So it's understandable that I'm <laughs> super unfit. So we're going to go begin our descent now. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a bit of perspective a little bit further down. Right, so this is the information section here. We have the little bits of information which you probably can't read at all. Not that you need to. Yeah, interesting stuff. Go look it up if you want to know more. So yeah, this is the steepest part. As you can see. Pretty epic. People died on the street, you know, because they were stupid. But that is all for now. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back soon with more Half-Life 2 and Doom 3. So until then, keep being awesome and stuff. No!